everyone, it's Narel here. I uh, just wanted to give you an update as to the changes I've recently made to Deep Green. Um, so as you know, we're all about purity, potency and freshness. So any change that I make to a formula must always align with those values, either maintaining it or improving it, never going backwards. So the original purpose of Deep Green was to combine the most potent alkalizing chlorophyll rich foods on the planet. These are the algae, the grass juices and the leafy greens. Um, so we've, in the algae we've got the chlorella which is a green algae, spirulina a blue green algae and the Klamath Lake blue green algae, the AFA, Aphazominon floss aqua. The grass juices were alfalfa, kamut, barley grass, oat grass and wheat grass juices and the leafy greens were kale, collard, spinach, parsley and nettle. So what's been happening over the last couple of years is that some of the leafy greens and the grass juices haven't been readily available with a consistent fresh supply which um, was adversely affecting the product. So what I've done is consolidated the grass juice component of the formula from five down to two grass juices that are always in fresh supply. Um, and these, this is barley grass juice and wheatgrass juice. And these are also the two grass juices whose health benefits have been the most studied in the medical field. So I'm not overly disappointed about that. You're getting the most bang for your buck with the barley grass and wheatgrass juice. So since I was tweaking the formula, I figured um, I may as what else could I do? You know, what, what would I do differently now um, since I have the chance? And how could I make it more potent? So I actually looked at the leafy green component of the formula, the kale, collard, spinach, parsley and nettle, and figured that if you're eating well and having your salads and your green smoothies, you're probably getting a decent amount of leafy greens in your diet. Certainly more than I could put into um, dehydrated into a teaspoon. So you just, it, yeah, by having salads and green smoothies, which I hope you are having, you'd be getting plenty of the chlorophyll rich dark leafy greens in your normal everyday diet. So what I've done is I've um, tweaked the leafy green component of the formula to have more of a, a beneficial herbal edge and I've included a couple of herbs that are extremely beneficial for your health that you wouldn't necessarily have in your regular daily diet. So I've got nettle and horsetail. Um, so nettle is anti-allergy, anti-inflammatory, it enhances the response of our immune system, it's thought to reduce the feeling of pain and interfere with the way, the way our nerves send pain signals. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So all of these effects may reduce the pain and stiffness of arthritis and other similar conditions. So nettle leaf is used for arthritis, rheumatism, rheumatoid arthritis, high blood pressure and allergic rhinitis, which is you know, sneezing a lot with allergies. So nettle is excellent for anti-inflammatory pain and allergies, which is beneficial for deep green, I would think. And horsetail. Um, horsetail is one of the most abundant sources of silica in the plant kingdom, which means it's fabulous for your bones, for your hair, for your teeth, for your nails, and your skin, of course. Um, and for those of you who've uh, used to reading my essence labels, you notice that horsetail is in quite a few of our skin creams and skincare products and our hair care products. So horsetail is known for its anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antimicrobial, antioxidant, coagulant, demulsant, diuretic and astringent. Um, coagulant just means it helps healing of the wounds. Demulsant is it's very um, soothing for your gut. Diuretic means it helps um, reduce uh, water retention um, and it helps clear out your kidneys. So Medline reports 
It's used as a natural remedy for excess fluid retention, kidney stones, bladder stones, and UTIs or urinary tract infections. So horsetail is fabulous for that. It also lowers blood glucose levels. So if you have type 2 diabetes, it's going to be good for you. So I figured I put these, I would put these herbs in um, because you don't necessarily, you wouldn't, you, you may not necessarily be getting them on a regular basis through your daily diet, like you would the kale and the spinach and the parsley. So I've basically taken that out of deep green and I've put the herbs in and there was a little bit of space left over. Um, so what I've done is increase the blue green algae component of the formula. So the grass juice component has remained the same. So you're still getting 60 mil equivalent of reconstituted grass juices in one teaspoon of deep green. That's two fluid ounces, 60 mil in one teaspoon of deep green. Um, and because I reduced the, the leafy green component, I've increased the blue green algae AFA spirulina chlorella component of the formula, which is why it is even deeper, darker, more emerald, beautiful green than it was before. Um, so as with all of our superfoods, you don't find anything in the, the formulas that diminish, dilutes or pads out any of our products. They are the most potent form of whatever it's supposed to be possible. So deep green is an alkalizer. So absolutely everything in deep green is the most potent alkalizing food spectrum I could find and the, the beneficial herbs. So, and of course, same as usual, no grass powders, no pulverized grass powders, just the super potent freeze, gra freeze dried grass juice powders, um, which again is the 60 mil equivalent of reconstituted juice plus an added bonus of more algaes and the, the two new super herbs, nettle and horsetail. So I've had fun having a tweak and making them, making it even more uh, potent and fresh um, for the future. And I really hope that you enjoy receiving it. Okay, until next time. Bye.